Well, here it is. Six months of work. Proton pack, suit, everything. Now, granted, there's still some other things that I have to build, but I, I'm here to show off the proton pack, and that's what I'm going to do now. First things first, this is the thrower, or wand, or several different names for it. It's got a lot of switches and dials on it. It's like five or six push buttons, a couple of push buttons. Uh, I'll turn around, you can see the entire proton pack. There's a lot of stuff on there. There's a lot of expensive pieces and bits and about $3,500 worth total cost, give or take a few hundred. Anyway, uh, I'm going to turn this thing on and let you see what it does. And let's see here. Just like in the elevator scene. Okay. Now, on the back, you're going to see four running active lights in the cyclotron, which is the bottom portion. And you're going to see the uh, power level in the uh, pack in the upper left. So those are all running. Not much going on here. But, I'm going to turn on my heads-up display, and, I'm sorry, I'm going to, there we are, heads-up display, I'm so new, I'm still figuring this out myself. Okay, we got some blinky lights and some power levels going up and down, and uh, we'll turn on the thrower, okay, got a nice, more power here going on, your vent light. And now we've enabled it where you can actually you can actually shoot the uh, the stream that's supposed to knock ghosts down into the trash. It's pretty slick. Uh, you got two different modes that you can actually use on this, and you also have your uh, wand tip switch. It's a little more intense, and uh, the fun thing about it is that if you hold this down too long, this pack will overheat and reset. slow blow and it changes a few things. Your intensity is now a little more laser like. You're less apt to overheat that way but it does sound a little bit warmer like it's got a lot of laser sound to it. And then up here it's kind of like a kind of like photon bursts. Okay and then there's always that one thing that everybody says not to do. Don't cross the streams. Okay do that by pressing these two buttons at the same time. Power drains out. Power reset system. Now the fun thing is whenever we do that, even when it overheats, you'll get a reaction out of the cyclotron lights. Now, watch the lights as I do this. When you do overheats, you also get cyclotron activity in the back that shows the lights that change and begin going faster and faster. Okay, I'm changing my wand here. Getting close. Okay, and there's one more thing that's hidden in this that I really like. Okay, we just turned off the vent switch, turned off the main power switch. If I hold this switch down and flip it up, sound familiar? This pack's got about 15 tracks of built-in music from the soundtrack. I can advance it one track at a time, tapping this button. And then I can, I can start that track by pressing this. Again, that's about 15, 16 tracks of music. Anyway. And that pretty much is it. I just cut everything off. All that's left is to turn off the switch that you normally see them turn on in the elevator. And we're done. That's it.
And now you see my pack.